Homestead Trail coming at you today from our kitchen because it is 6 p.m. in January and it is very cold and very dark outside. So I'm keeping cozy in here. You could probably hear our wood stove crackling in the background, but I've got my homestead binder out making plans for the spring of 2019, as I'm sure many of you are. And I came across all of our records from where we've kept pigs the past two years. And so I figured if there's anyone out there who might be thinking about getting into pigs for the very first time, you might be as clueless as we were when we started out. So when we went into it, we had no idea how much it would cost to feed a pig. Um, we had no idea what butchering costs were or how long it would take to feed out a pig to butchering weight. So we recorded everything for the past two years. So we thought it'd be kind of fun to gather this information so that you guys can be a little more prepared, maybe know what to expect a little bit more, and you can learn from our mistakes so you don't have to learn stuff the hard way like we did. So let's get started. So as I'm explaining these things, I'm going to try to put the numbers up over here over this door. So that explains why I'm sitting <laughs> like this. We'll see if it works or not. So I'll start off with a little bit of a disclaimer. We're located in Indiana, which is considered the buckle to the corn belt of the United States. Um, so since we fed pigs primarily a soybean corn mix, um, our prices are probably going to be a little bit cheaper than other areas of the country. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so we'll start with 2017. In 2017, we bought three purebred Tamworth gilts and we paid $40 for each of those. Um, we had them for seven months and at the end of that seven months, they weighed 290 pounds. Um, when we bought them, they were probably about 15 to 20. So they're decently sized, but they were still small enough I could pick them up. So over the course of that seven months, we ended up buying 3,100 pounds of feed total. Now, when we first started buying it, we were just buying it in 50 pound bags at a time, which was a mistake. It was a lot more expensive that way. Um, but later on, we started buying it in bulk. And what we were buying was just your basic grind mix from our local agri center. It was a lot cheaper that way. So um, that was a lesson learned. Um, the total cost for that feed ended up being $789. So if you divide it up, it was about 1,033 pounds of feed per pig or $263 per pig. So for butchering, um, we do butcher our own chickens, but as far as the hogs go, we don't really have the right facilities or the time to butcher them ourselves. We would like to eventually, but right now it's just not a priority. So we do send them to a butcher shop to be butchered. And the cost for our particular pig was 197 um, for her to get butchered. And that included 91 pounds of meat that was cured. So the Oklahoma Department of Agriculture estimates about 57% of a hog's live weight ends up being um, a retail cut. So from that 290 pound pig, we should have gotten about 165 pounds of pork. So if you add everything up, that ends up being about $2.80 per pound. Um, of course, if we were able to butcher our hog ourselves, it would be about half that. So that would definitely be a lot of savings if that was possible. So a couple of the things that we learned the hard way our first go with pigs, definitely buy your feed in bulk from the get-go. Um, if you know it's going to take about a thousand pounds um, of feed to finish a hog, buy as much as you can as early as you can and just store it in trash cans because it'll save you a lot of money. Another thing that we learned the hard way is make sure you're calling your butcher and making your appointment months in advance. Not one month, not two, probably at least three. Um, especially if you're buying your piglets in the spring and you're wanting to butcher in the fall. Because um, in our area, deer hunting is huge. And so the butcher accounts for that. So they don't allow as many appointments um, during deer season. So if you're wanting to get your pigs in around that time, they're probably going to be full. Um, so we made that mistake. Luckily, a spot just happened to open up. So we were able to, to get them in in a reasonable time. But um, we try to call about a month in advance and they were already booked up. So the, we kept the pigs probably about a month longer than we wanted to just because we, we couldn't get in anywhere. All right, so let's go into 2018. In 2018, we bought four spot uh, Hereford Barrows and we paid $35 each for them. Um, these guys were probably half the size of our Tamworth gilts in 2017. They were so small, they were able to hop through the um, hog panels. Um, so that was that was not a good day because we thought all our pigs were gonna run away 
So over the course of those six months, we ended up buying 4,200 pounds of feed. And that entire time, we just bought the grind mix from our agri center, and we bought it in about six to 800 pounds at a time. So we definitely went the bulk route that way. Um, so that ends up being about 1,050 pounds of feed per pig. The total cost for all the feed was $1,028, which ends up being about $257 per pig. So we did save a little bit of money in the feed costs. So in 2018, we did change butchers, but the prices end up being about the same. So the butcher cost for a 308 pound pig ended up being $213. That included 98 pounds of cured meat. Um, the cured stuff costs a little bit more. Um, using the same percentage as before, um, our 308 pound hog should have provided about 175 pounds of pork. So if you add everything up, the total cost ends up being about 268 per pound. So to give you a better idea of how we raise our pigs, um, we just have a good size pen for them. It's got a sheltered mud hole. Um, our feeder is just one of those automatic gravity fed ones where they get free choice food. They just come up to it, lift the lid, and they eat however much they want. We just always kept it full. Um, and then they would also get, you know, kitchen scraps. Anytime we clean out the fridge, they'd get that. And also just gar uh, garden scraps, things like that. So there you have it, you guys. Hopefully that was beneficial to you. Hopefully you have a little better idea about what you're getting yourself into if you're thinking about getting pigs for the very first time. So comment below what your plans are for spring 2019 on your homestead. We'd love to read your comments. Also subscribe. Really gonna try. One of my goals for 2019 is to be better about posting videos. So I've been slacking lately, but it's gonna get better. So stay tuned. We've got some good ideas and hopefully we'll be seeing you soon.